what do you guys think? Um, what do you like about it? The poetry. The poetry, poetry happening in this word. Within the within the text and it comes from the obvious experience and that's what I really like. It's life in a body, man. Life in a body. I like what she said somewhere about having to sit under a tree for certain times and her energy healer helped her with that. That was interesting. What was it that Byrne was saying that this man was visiting before earlier? And he was talking, what was he talking about? He had this really interesting, it was quite profound, wasn't it? Um, Can you, oh, sort of. I'm not sure if I really said this profound. <laughs> I think he was. I think he was sort of a bit dumbstruck that she was living so much experience. I think he felt that she was living in a like a small way, like in a in a city, and she was kind of like going backwards and forwards to uni, or you know. Her life was full. Her life was full, but it was kind of there wasn't a lot of out of. Uh, a lot of other experience happening in her life. He was talking about how he life values, experience. Yeah, it's a bit diversity. Mm. He's quite judgmental. Mm. Mm. But that's, 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 just, that's just what she chose to write, up, write about. Mm. Yeah, just her. That's her all she chose to write about. Like mm. you can't say that. Like it's just her writing. Mm. Can't say that's her whole life experience based on what she wrote about. Mm. So these are people that she just doesn't hasn't really kept in contact with, and she sends them all a group email. I think that she's. I think that so she moved cities. She moved to Chicago from. I think Portland. I don't actually know. Mm. To say the truth, where she moved from. In the but first one, she's just taken on a job at Chicago University. Yeah. So I think there are a group of people that she's hoping to keep in touch with, or getting yeah. to share with her, or connect with. Yeah. I've never received an email like this. Okay. I wish I had more emails like this. Yeah. <laughs> such the act of actually making the effort to write because it's such an easy... I'm not even a big texter, like I will always call. Yeah. I wonder why that's like just being generally lazy or... Yeah, you're um, right. You're um, a caller. Yeah. yeah. Sorry about that. You're a talker. No, I like it. Yeah, you have to email people. You like just punish emails and get everything done. Emails terrify me. Really? You can do yeah. it in the middle of the night. Is why yeah. Which yeah. has come to yeah. the beauty of this, because it's so personal, whereas I always perceive emails to be terrifying and... In what way? Yeah, like what someone personal. In personal. Yeah. 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 Sure, yeah. Well, this is what Jane was talking about when she and I spoke about this project initially. She said, you know, how often do you get emails like this in your inbox? Yeah, that's Which right. Which is yeah. what it should like, be. Yeah, but it's turned into it. spam and bills. Mm. Mm. That's right. I have a good filter. So it's just bills. <laughs> 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 it's interesting, though. Or even just like people chasing you up from something that you were meant to do and they're like, Talk is not enough now, like, mm -hmm. or like like some kind of deal that was in like has to be in writing. Yeah, yeah. Like, Look oh, forward to hearing from you. That looks like a whole lot of commitment. Yeah, it exists yeah, forever yeah, now. Yeah. Yeah. Or yeah. even exactly. the handwritten like whenever I get a letter that has somebody's handwriting on the front, I get instantly excited because I think yes. it's like an invitation to something or whatever. Or a love letter. Yeah. Love. <laughs> also, I've grown up with my grandma that every birthday, Easter, Christmas, it's always a letter in the mail, mm. which is like yeah, and then her script on the mm. yeah. Yeah, me and my friends just started this thing where we send each other a letter and a book and then we like swap. A letter and a book? Yeah. How many times have you done it though? Once. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I said we just started. That's <laughs> really nice. I like but it's pretty idea. nice because it's like, yeah, the handwritten little note and like this yeah, is what this book's about and why I like it. And I think you should read it. Yeah. I think <laughs> what's interesting about the, the style of what she's doing is, is there's like there's a rhythm. Like there's definitely oh. an intro. Oh, she she's got her own voice. She yeah. has her voice. And it's then like she very... tells you, and then you know, and then she comes in with the art report. So this week I went to the Rothko Chapel, and then I did this, and I'm like, you know, like it. So you kind of like get through all the personal, and then all of a sudden it's like, holy shit! Okay, we're going on an art trip now, and then maybe a bit of poetry, mm -hmm. and then it's like, okay. This is probably the first time I've actually thought about an email being an artwork. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And I would act, I was it's very, I'm going to be very honest, a bit sceptical. I was like, what is this this time? And that was for me. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm, I think I'm very open minded, but this particular one, and I don't mean that in any disrespect, but I'm very, very happily surprised. It's beautiful. Oh, yeah. yeah. 
Oh, about the like, show or about the I don't want to use the word about like, the show. I felt like this was going to be something that I wasn't going to understand. And I like to think that I'm very open-minded about most things. Um, particularly, um, I don't know. I feel like that might be a bit rude. I'm just very... It's good, good. Huh? Um, You're being honest right. like Jen. You yeah. 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 It's are. good. Cool. I'll <laughs> blank. <laughs> really good for that. Yeah. Yeah, it's really different because if you received the email, you'd be sitting there with it being mediated by your computer, your device, your phone, your whatever, mm. and it would be you and the email. So yeah. to put them in a room and have all of them. Yeah, well, but it's like an analogue like form of yeah. digital, like, yeah. Yeah. do you reckon it would be different if you took off the Gmail thing and then you presented them so, like, Very different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, but yeah we're not we're that that just like, I said to yeah. Ali, it's yeah. so weird that, that it's it's an email, but it's, in a, it's, it's an printed. object. Are we, yeah. Yeah. are we, you know, what are we doing? Like, and then yeah. how are we going to ask people to interact with this? So then it's like, we need to be able to put these emails so that they're not, um, they can't be tapped into. So that was the idea of them putting them from the page format into a PDF so they got locked. So no one could like reply to or, or talk All those to the people. other people, the yeah. other contacts. Oh, yeah. So that's why on these two screens, they're actually in a PDF and you can't, I've got a blood colored copy. You could have. Yeah. Oh. There's anyway. a lesson. Since <laughs> 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 back into the machine, I'm interested in reading the law. Totally. Yeah, right. So, are you interested in replying? Like, yeah. Possibly. Yeah, right. Mm. It's definitely something I think I'd have to walk away from and think about. Mm. But just the format as well, talk about that. Like, I read them as emails because of the way it's laid out. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I, not that it's. I hadn't even, until we had this discussion, the idea of not being on a computer screen. Mm. Yeah. I've started like reading I've them like emails. Like a short novel. Mm. And it, yeah. it's got, like, it's a journey and it's like a really intimate novel, but it also takes you on the, you know, on these excursions as well. And there's poetry in it. Mm. And I've just read the novel because I've just read every single one. And now I want to go away and think about it like I do when you leave a movie or you've read a book. Yeah. And then um, what's most exciting is that you never, ever get to write to the author of a novel. You don't get to contribute to her novel or his novel. Mm -hmm. You just read the novel and you go away. It's like a one-way relationship. Mm -hmm. Whereas this is like being, uh, you know, allowed to mm -hmm. become a part or talk about the novel with the novelist. I think that's really interesting. I think it is too.